Guys, after years of streaming, I have realized something. My t-shirt is not the same as my hair. I know that sounds really weird, but it's about green screening and especially on a budget, it's very hard to get the perfect green screen setup. And for a long time, I just sort of lit it as best as I could. And you can tell I'm being cropped off here because I'm having some green screen problems. And, you know, on a limited budget, it's... You, you can only do so much. I'm using a Logitech C920 webcam, which already has limitations in terms of resolution and frame rate. And it's got flicker, obviously, because it's not the clearest webcam possible. There's the Brio, but generally after the Logitech C920, I would recommend going up to a Sony... A5100, I think it is. Uh, that, that's sort of the go-to streamer camera, which is not a webcam, right? There's, of course, way, way, way more expensive DSLRs you could get into, but the Sony A5100 is sort of the go-to now. Uh, if you have the budget, it's way more expensive than a C920, so I don't recommend starting with it. But the green screen problem. Every time I made the green screen look good for my hair, my body was weird. It, it was too strong because I want you want that soft hair look. Uh, and you know, a lot of things are the basics, right? Light your green screen evenly. Make sure you have proper lighting, you know? Have your webcam settings set up correctly. You know, don't use natural light. It changes through the, throughout the day. A cloud rolls over and your green screen's messed up, right? There's, there's all sorts of those basic stuff. But I've done a little bit of a, a tweak. And if we go to just analyzing us here on the webcam, let me show you what it actually looks like. This, this is what the camera is actually recording. And as you can see, I'm cropping myself off because my green screen is disintegrating. This is a, a cheap $10 green screen. It's made out of this weird plasticky material and it was okay on day one, but as time goes on, it gets crumblier and crumblier and I tried to just adjust something over by this wall and the green screen sort of came loose a little bit and then it just started tearing and I'm like oh no we gotta hold this up oh, it's falling apart and then I was holding something else up at the time and it's like oh. and the more I struggled the more it just crumbled and you can see this is the best I could get it and it's still like tearing up at the corner there and so I had to crop that off but the problem was with green screening here is if I go ahead and show you, if I green screened myself so that my hair had a nice soft edge, the my, my shirt tends to, it's, it's too strong down here. The hair looks okay. It's a little flickery. It's what we can do with the webcam, but th this is clearly like if I lean back or if the light hits me, like I'm just becoming way too flickery. But if I were to make the chroma key, good for my body and then I switch back to here you see it's got the opposite problem my hair becomes very hard edge it's got almost an outline and it's not so bad but you want it to be better and I was like you know my, my green screen isn't obviously perfectly lit but it's the best I can do with what I've got it's it's pretty well lit not perfectly evenly but you know this cheap green screen I can't even get the wrinkles out it's got the folds in it from the day I bought it they're just not going away uh, so I was just thinking like how do I green screen for my hair properly without losing my body and I was like looking around for videos on what I could do and there wasn't really anything there so I was like I started thinking can't I just have two different green screen settings if I like split myself and there's actually two of me here. And that's exactly what I've done. And let me show you what that looks like. This is my current setting. And I could show you that it's actually two different sources. My head is up here. My body's down here, right? And you'll note there's a fade so that it's not going to be a hard edge if anything shows. Now, this looks really weird, so let me get my top half of my face here. So this is this is what I'm actually doing now. And I can have the soft edge, but I'm not losing my shoulder. And this is something that I'm, I'm really happy with, especially when, if I go back to here, into my background, 
right? It shows nice and cleanly, right? And it, this, this particular shirt has some troubles because this, you can see it's starting to flicker a bit more. This design has a bit more of a sensitivity to the green screen. So I've got a bit of a hard edge, but if you were to like shrink yourself down into gameplay or something, Oh, here's OBS Studio. <laughs> I want to show you guys this. See see how clean I look down here in this corner? I know you guys always love this effect, but you know, there we go. <laughs> but see, see, can't I just wear a cap? I don't want to wear a cap. I, I like my hair. It's a bit messy. I can't get a haircut. And as, you know, the pandemic has continued, it's harder and harder to get a haircut. So, you know, this, this tip is going to be handy for you guys. So. This is, this is what I'm doing. And let me show you a, a few more details to it. Um, so on the actual webcam scene I'm using here, right? Uh, the fade I'm doing basically looks like this. You create this image, just a black to white fade. And if I go ahead and hide to this one, you see, this is exactly where I'm fading off for the bottom half, right? And the top half has a different fade, which is just going the other way. Maybe it's a bit clearer if I do this. So what, what I've done here is I just have the two top half and bottom half, they're overlapped and then I fade them off. That way, when for example, if I were to, you know, you can see it with this green object here, you can actually see the different green screen settings it's different up here than down here so the green is actually this green is actually disappearing on the lower half but it's not on the upper half but if there's any sort of weird transition on the edge of like my neck or anything like this or if i duck down see how the edge of my hair gets harder if i come down here and it gets softer if i go back up there right but it's not like a hard line it's not a hard line. So any sort of transition, like for example, if I were to stand up, you see the problem happening. But at least, you know, as long as I don't stand up, it's gonna be okay. But if I stand up, then, oh, my, my body's gone. <laughs> or it's disappearing. Uh, but it's not a hard edge, right? So it's less noticeable if that were to happen. Now, this is obviously not a perfect solution. Uh, it would be better to just have a great camera, just, you know, have a perfect green screen, but the green screen has been the most frustrating part ever, right? It's out of all the things I've worked on, green screens have been the most headachey, uh, whether it's quality issues or lighting it issues. And you can see, I can't even get rid of the creases on this one. I've ordered a new fabric green screen uh, that's gonna be replacing this entirely and hopefully that helps solve some problems. I've been reworking my lighting and all of that. Uh, so yeah, uh, currently it's not perfect, but this is going to be helpful for some of you, I think, where you don't have to be limited to just one green screen setting. If you want to have your hair have a setting, you want your body with a different setting, and you're not gonna be standing up, it's gonna be okay. Um, if you stand up and sit down a lot on your streams or your videos, then it might be a bit of a problem, but this is an idea that you can try. And it's not something I saw elsewhere. So maybe because it's a bit too jank, but uh, I, I just really wanted to soften my hair and I don't stand up. So th this is something that I think will be very helpful. All right, and I hope that helped you with your green screen problems, at least temporarily. Uh, you know, we can all work our way up to the best setup possible, but you know, for now, a free software solution is always good. If you'd like to join us and ask me questions about this stuff, I do stream three times a week over on Twitch, uh, so go ahead and follow there if you would be so interested in that sort of stuff. And if you like the video, do like and subscribe. Good? Good. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you found it useful, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.